Hello everybody, myself Jyoti and this is 7th lecture on physics of semiconductors and let us try to understand mechanism of current conduction in semiconductors. So uh, what happens exactly when we apply electric field? When no external field is applied to a semiconductor, each charge carrier, either you take electron or hole, it will move in a random direction. Why it is moving in a random direction? Because it is having thermal energy. When the temperature is there, naturally there is certain amount of thermal energy which is associated with electron or hole and because of that it will keep moving in random direction. And the frequent change in the direction of the path of the carrier occurs due to scattering by the vibration of uh, the lattice atoms and by the coulomb field of the ionized donor and acceptor atoms so we know that uh, inside the atom there is a inside the crystal there is a periodic arrangement of atoms and these lattice atoms because of the thermal energy they keep on vibrating there is a lattice vibration which is present and because of that the charge carriers they get scattered now when we apply external field it uh, it superimposes on the random motion of the carriers a drift velocity. So let us try to understand the drift velocity here. Now in the steady state, the rate of momentum gained from the field equals the rate of loss of momentum due to scattering. And therefore, because the net effect will be a steady drift velocity is achieved, giving rise to a steady flow of current. Now this is the picture of a uh, how the current conduction takes place. So here we can see uh, current conduction takes place basically in n-type semiconductor. So we, here we can see free electrons are there, ionized donor atoms are there and electrons they will move from uh, negative, uh, they will be attracted towards, they will get accelerated towards the positive terminal of battery and uh, there will be a current because of that. So uh, what happens, how the current flows in a biased n-type semiconductor. An n-type semiconductor has electrons as the majority charge carriers and almost equal number of immobile positive ions. And along with that, as it is a semiconductor, we will have hole as a minority carrier. So here you can see electrons as the carrier, then immobilized ionized donor atoms and along with that, I will have positive recharge hole as the minority charge carriers. Now, here we will assume that the contribution of hole to the current, it is negligible. And uh, so whatever current is there, it is because of the majority carriers. So let us consider an n-type semiconductor placed between a pair of electrodes. And whatever field is produced by the voltage, there will be a steady drift of the free electrons towards the positive electron. So here the electrons, they will, once you apply electric field, these electrons will start moving towards the positive terminal of the battery or el applied electric field. Now the electrons reaching the positive terminal disappear at the metal of the electrode and the immobile positive ions in the vicinity of the negative electrode, they remain unneutralized due to the drift of the free electrons and these ions, these positively charged ions, they immediately attract electrons. So what is happening here is a continuous flow of electrons from one terminal of the voltage source uh, to the other terminal while the semiconductor is taking place and the rate of flow of electrons from the negative electrode to the semiconductor and from the semiconductor to the positive electrode is determined by the applied voltage and the conductivity of the semiconductor which accounts for the current flow. Now, uh, in a similar fashion, so this was a picture about the n-type semiconductor. In a similar fashion, we can uh, check how the current flows in a biased p-type semiconductor. So in p-type semiconductor, we will have holes as the majority charge carriers. Along with that, we will have ionized acceptor atoms. And here, when you apply electric field in the n-type semiconductor, electrons were moving towards the positive terminal of the battery. Here, holes will be uh, moving towards the positive terminal or uh, negative terminal of the battery. So what is in p-type semiconductor we have holes as majority charge carriers, electrons as minority charge carriers and uh, equal number of immobile negative ions like we have holes and equal number of immobilized negative ions also we have and here 
whatever current we are getting because of the minority charge carriers that is electrons we will consider that is negligible and now this p-type semiconductor is connected to a play, pair of electrodes across which a voltage is applied and here also there will be a constant drift of the holes towards the negative electrode so uh, the mechanism for n-type and p-type it is almost same so if you have understood for n-type then you can easily understand it for the p-type so on reaching the negative electrode they combine with the electrons coming out of the metal of the negative electrode and they disappear at the same time an equal number of holes is generated near the positive electrode and this is because as the holes drift away from the positive electrode they leave behind the unneutralized immobile negative charges and these charges and the positive electrode give rise to an electric field which causes the ionizing electrons to leave the acceptor atoms and come to the positive electrode where they are lost so we we have already discussed this so uh, yes so by losing an electron in the above process acceptor atom attempts to steal an electron from an adjacent bond and thus a hole is formed so in case of p-type semiconductor what is happening is whatever current we are getting it is because of the holes while in case of n-type whatever current we get it is because of the n-type charge carriers that's it. Thank you. Thank you so much.